Well, they call this the Star Wars room, and it is not science fiction. I promise you that. Actually, it's Duke Energy's Energy Control Center, and they are monitoring energy transmission in real time here. Now, Duke has committed about $25 billion in investment over the next decade in the six states that it serves to continue updating and modernizing the electric power grid. Here, power crises can be spotted and dealt with in more quick ways using smart grid technology and in some cases problems can be averted or even fixed with the click of a mouse. They can even sometimes heal themselves. Now the power grid has been front and center after hurricanes Harvey and Irma caused massive outages last year and as cyber attacks are also a concern. We are, you know, focused every day not only on the defenses we can put in place, more investment, more oversight, uh, working on our systems in a way to make them less vulnerable, but also we focus on recovery. I think as we talk about all of the new devices and technologies that we can deploy, we actually have to think of that, about that within the context of cybersecurity because we could be increasing risk if we're not particularly vigilant adding new digital devices to our system. But companies all across the U.S., not just Duke Energy, including PG&E, Con Ed, and Next X, Next X, uh, excuse me, Next Era, are increasing investments in the smart grid as well. The global self-healing energy market is growing 9% a year, which is a compounded annual growth rate. Now, there are critics that say consumers are going to be the ones that bear the brunt of this. I've seen estimates as high as 17% in terms of their energy bills, and those critics say that the benefits they receive immediately aren't necessarily enough to make up for it right now, but Duke Energy would tell you this is a long-term investment when you look at how they are securing the grid, ultimately it will pay off. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.